Everybody's scrounging around. Take What's a look this? at these Yankees. What is this? You feel sorry for Biden? I do. I, I think it's elder abuse. I'd hate to be in this situation. <laughs> Guys. <laughs>
This is Dr. Tyler Walls, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. I don't know who is running the country, really, but I feel a little bit sorry for Biden that he's taken a hit and this all can't be his fault. You feel sorry for Biden? I do. I, I think it's elder abuse. I'd hate to be in his situation. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I, I get a lot of that in the comments. He feels sorry for Biden. I, I don't feel that he is connected with what he's saying. I think he's, he's doing too much reading of a teleprompter. I'd like to hear what he has to say when he's not reading a teleprompter. Because, uh, yeah, and I understand, he's in, a, in a, you know, the beginning stages of an elder uh, elderly problem. Um, as we all are. You, you know, you feel well, for him as a human, but as a okay. leader of the free world in our country? That's that's that's, that's, the, the, that's problem. the problem. That's the big problem. There, there are two excuses for all this, okay? One, the people who are running the country are really, really evil. Or two, they're really, really stupid, okay? Well, maybe a mixture of both. Yeah, or a mixture of both. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think it's, we're beyond the point where we can blame this guy because he obviously is not in control of all his speeches. He's not in control of where he goes. You know, if he wanders too far away from the action, he gets you know, they send the Easter Bunny after him. I mean, it is, it's, it's terrible the way the guy is being treated. And when he's overseas and they can't keep him on a leash, you know, they they all kind of cringe because they don't know what he's going to say. Whoever is behind all this, they're not reacting in a predictable way to events, okay? Um, and what it shows is, for example, when 53 people die in the back of a tractor trailer, mm -hmm. it looks mm -hmm. like they don't give a damn that 53 people just died in the back of a, a tractor trailer. Do you think eagles are going to come down in premium? Well, uh, if the price of silver goes down anymore, then everything will come down. Uh, I do think that premiums are going to ease up because um, eventually the U.S. man, the Canadian man, are going to catch up to demand. Uh, once the you know the mints catch up, um, and it seems like they are slowly. Um, uh, where the silver's coming from, but. Um, that should offset the pricing a lot. They have silver vending machines in Europe? Silver and gold, yeah. That's well, that, <laughs> that was a great idea we were saying. We could just like load up a vending machine, you know, a bunch of silver eagles, some rounds. Yeah, but they're, they're uh, strictly digital. You know, they don't take cash. <sighs> so that's one more piece of information you're turning over to a government. Another idea, though, that they had is like an express lane, Tim. So we could have like, you know, I don't know. Drive up. Yankee, a drive up window. We have a drive up window for you, Tim. Yeah, but you'll need an easy pass. That's another Ten you know, digital item that takes away your cash. All right. Oops. That's the problem. You know, yeah, it's going to be the whole world pretty soon. Yeah. You know, that guy in Yankee, you know, he says it's, it's already on its way. It is 2023. Yep. Fed now. Fed now is released in 2023. Uh, I just saw um, the, the EU is also saying 2023 for their digital uh, CBDC. And oh man, what was the other country? I just saw. Oh, India. India just announced that they will have their CBDC ready in 2023. It's all happening in 2023. It's once it hits the populace. Uh, there should be a violent revolution. That's fake, right? Yeah, it's fake. Okay, well, look, I'll, I'll take look the fake ones. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, where where did you get that, Tim? Oh, we make them in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice print there. That's going on YouTube. <laughs> I'm surprised if they are legal to use, and motion picture money is you know what it's yeah. called. Um, but I'm really surprised that they let them because it is it's a really good reproduction. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Your change, yeah. sir. You're done. Oh, your coins. There better be eleven in there. I hope, I hope there's eleven in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, have a good day. You're, you're exchanging that silver for eagles. Yep. And then I'm gonna buy some more.
Let's see what the choices are. I have uh, 2021 type ones. I must have some back there balls somewhere. So you said both back days, I don't care. Silver, silver. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Where You're did about, this come from? Uh, five ounces? How popular that, you see the buffalo round down there? Oh, yeah. Remember, remember how popular that was? I oh, got, I know. I have a bunch of those. I got the two ounce oh, I had four of them and down to one now. Ooh. So it's just time to put it in a video so that everybody calls me and asks for it. <laughs> That never happens, right? It's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? This is... Uh, Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia. Harper's Ferry. And this one. What oh, is this? Oh, the White Mountains. Oh, I like this one. That's a New Hampshire one. It's all toned up though, Tim. Yeah, so it's oh, it's not in the original wrapper. Yeah. Do you mind me showing your face? No, I don't. So is this your uh, first time in yeah. with Tim? No, no, no. The first time I came here, I, I uh, through your channel, I told him that I had no experience on it. I don't know what's going on. I wanted to invest in the silver. He said that he would answer uh, all my questions if I have any. I was here over two hours. He was very, very pleasant. But the really story I wanted to tell you one day I came here, there was three people in front of me. And there was a lady here with a box full of different coins, wrapped in paper and cloth and stuff. And they were going through it. She was asking value. And he asked her what she wanted to do with it. She said, she wasn't sure. He says, I buy if you want to sell any. And she says, no, I think I'm going to hold on to them. And although there was a line of people, at that point, somebody else would have said, oh, okay, see you later. He took his time wrapping each coin, talking to her. Said, okay, if you need any help, let me know. I mean, I was, I was really, to me, it, it, it told me about, a lot about him, the man he really is. You know, when she says, no, no, I'm not saying, you figure that he would kind of like change his demeanor? Yes. Not at all, no, no, he continued slowly, like you see him more, meticulous wrapping all the coins for another time, giving her advice and inviting her to come back if she changed her mind or anything. He's truly a gentleman. He truly is. He really is. Glad you said that. What do you think of these? Oh, those are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> those are nice, especially the big one. Oh, yes. That Troy pound of silver. That is something else. Right, let me, uh, Tempting, uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but you're sticking with constitutional, right? This yes. Well, I, I probably have uh, uh, over 600 ounces now between some bars and coins. Good for you. And now I want to get some constitutional because of the batter thing, you know, trade in case things. You know, I got some quarters, but I figure if I get some dimes and go to the farmer and get my eggs, you know. Dimes are a good barter denomination. That's oh, I learned it through your channel. Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching it. I appreciate that. <laughs> My pleasure. Yep. Say hello to Yankee. Hey, Yankee. How you doing? All right, man. Jeff from Alabama. Hi, Jeff. Uh -huh. That's Alabama. I'm watching you. I'm just kind of getting into this part of it. I was telling Tim, I've kind of, over the last few years, been putting in all my money into some other kind of assets and kind of happened upon y'all guys and, um, Gonna start buying some silver, I guess. Oh, good for you. What other assets have you been uh, focusing on, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, guns and ammo. <laughs> the other precious metal, too, right? I'm just looking at some stuff to hedge my bets. Mm -hmm. You know, going to say small denominations, if I ever had to use it for barter or trade, you know, there'll be some there. Anything happens to me, the wife and the kids, they can use it or get rid of it fairly easily, so... I ain't gonna look at it much, play with it much, just kind of let it sit there. I'd never heard of silver stacking before a month ago, and it's just kind of blown up. Excellent. Well, take uh, care, bud. Y'all be safe. Thank you. That's a 2008. That's a long on the front. It's a uh, it's a view on Ham Kuwakana or, or the other racers, and I figure you get a kick out of that. Oh yeah, that's great. And um, enjoy, find pleasure. Yeah, I, let's see what, what period of time was this? Was back in two thousand eight. That's all. Two thousand eight. Um, wow, that's cool. You know, I bet the I bet that's the answer to the question. Did you read the article? Yes, but I've got to let you read it. Who's the best? Yeah, it's definitely Alonzo. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, he is, he is still in the field. You know, he's he. 
hasn't won a world championship no. since 2006. Right. Yeah. Just but way. he's still the best, the most complete driver so, in the field, he even though he's got a crappy car. <laughs> well, yeah, but he's very competitive on the races because, I mean, the experience, yeah. it's... Yeah, he actually in the, in the qualified second in oh, Canada. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it rained all the time. All the yeah. And... Um, they really took too long to change the tires because they kept falling apart. Oh, that's the right, yeah. And then that's when true. he came yeah. back into the that race, was a fiasco. he was yeah. not in a position where he could make any, you know, you know fight with the leaders. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think he's he's a terrific, terrific ride for the driver. A natural. Yeah, yeah, there aren't too many natural. Well, 40 now. He's an old man there. He's an old man, yeah. too. Kind of like Kimmy Reichman. He's pretty old when he retired. Yeah. It's, well, a lot of them take too long to retire. Yeah. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> Everybody's scrounging around. Take What's a look this? At this Yankee. Open it up. What is this? Oh, Scottsdale Stackers. Oh. Oh, yeah. You're saying they're scratching around for these chunky things? No, I'm saying the wow. online guys are selling a lot of the stuff that is not mainstream. No. Because they got to sell something. And Scottsdale has access to a fair amount of silver. Yeah, I got two of those, two tubes left. Let's see. And what are these going for? Wow. Good question. Yeah, you better figure that one out, Tim. I'll take two. two there tubes. you go. <laughs> All right, Tim. I'm out of here, bud. You are? Yeah, oh, I am. Geez. That way you can just, you know, less hassle. Well, you can make, help make sure customers. You, you carefully edit our conversations. As I always do. <laughs> As I always <laughs> do. Good, huh? <laughs>